Hey guys, it's Real Speef here with another New World video. Today I'm talking to you about luck, how it works, because it's complicated as fuck and New World didn't explain it well at all. So let's get started. The first thing you probably see all the time on your gear is, let's see, you have mining gear and it gives plus 3% chance at finding rare items. Well, I'm just here to tell you that's a lie. The reason that's a lie is because luck is rolled from... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leave this up if you want to read over it. You can pause. Um, there's a guy who kind of did a bunch of math to help us determine a guy named Skyline OW. So shout out to him for doing the math and killing all those boars for us to do it. Thank, find it out. Thank you. Um, luck is rolled from 1 to 100,000. That is your base roll. Until you have luck gear, you cannot roll higher than that. Luck rolls any number in between there with just as much likelihood. So a 1 is just as likely as a 10,000, is just as likely as a 50,000, is just as likely as a 100,000. Um, and when you have luck gear on, say this piece right here that gives me 4.5% mining luck, it doesn't increase your drop chances by 4.5%. No, that 4.5%, each one of those percent adds 100 luck or 100 to your roll so let's say you kill a boar and you start to skin it if your base roll for whatever you loot is 20,000 by having these gloves on that adds four and a half times 100 so 450 so instead of 20,000 your new roll is 20,450 this works in slightly different ways in different areas of the game, whether you be mining nodes or if you're looting things like from chests and from uh, random enemy drops. Um, but the basic way it works is each thing has a threshold you have to hit. If you don't hit at least that luck threshold, you do not get it. So the, the best example that people have looked at a lot is for Tolvium and Cinnabar, which are rare drops from Aura Calcum nodes, which is like top tier stuff, and Voidor. Those are all super important late game materials. Um, and this guy breaks it down pretty well here. So whenever you mine ore calcum, ore calcum ore is guaranteed. And I need to say this before I forget about it. Your luck value does not influence the quantity of your drops. I'm just going to say that every, let's say every ore calcum ore always drops 10 ore. Having zero luck, you still get 10 ore. Having a million luck, you still get 10 ore. The... Le the quantity of items dropped is not dependent on your luck at all. The rarity and presence of additional items dropped is dependent on your luck. So in this case, you, you mine an Aura Calcum node, right? You have to roll, you have to roll a 90,000 or higher to get a charm. If you roll a 95,000 or higher, you get a roll on the tier 3 gem table. If you roll 101,800 or higher, you get a roll on Tolvium slash Cinnabar or Void or Cobalt, Crystal, etc. The way this works is if you roll, let's say you roll in a 50,000 and you have luck gear and trophies and stuff that adds another 10,000. So you roll a 60,000, you get Orichalcum, that's it, go home, nothing special. If you roll a 90,000 and you have 5,000 luck, Instead of just getting this, you get both of these. You get the charm roll and a tier three gem roll, right? Um, once you have it, and what this also means is for your Tor of Tolvium, Cinnabar, and Voidar and stuff, until you have 1,800 luck from whatever sources, you cannot ever loot those, period. It is impossible. Um, as far as I know... There are several different sources of luck. I'm going to go back to the game real quick to show you. So on each of your pieces of armor, you can have luck of a certain kind. I have a set of mining gear. Each gives about 4.5% or so. I think you can get up to 5% on each piece or each slot. Potentially higher, but if you can get 5% on each slot, that adds a total of 25% luck, which is actually 2,500 to your roll every time, right? just from your armor here. You can get luck on your bags. So like you see, I have luck 1.4% on that bag. That's not mining luck, but it is luck. Um, you can also get luck on your jewelry pieces. Uh, I have a jewelry piece somewhere. Yeah, this one gives me harvesting luck. It actually gives 7% harvesting luck or 700, which is really nice. Um, 
And you can also eat foods that give it. I don't have any trade skill foods on me right now, but certain trade skill foods also give you luck up to, I think, 1,900 or 2,000 is the limit. And then your tool can have luck on it. And that goes off the percent value again. So like this star metal sickle I have gives me a 6% extra chance, which is 600 to that roll. So if you have five pieces for 2,500, let's just say another... Uh, 2,000 from 7% on each of these. That's 4.5k total here. Add another 500 here gives you 5k. Add 2k from a food item gives you 7k. Um, and if you have trophies, if you have three minor trophies, trophies, minor trophies give 500 luck each. Um, major trophies, the, the, the tier three ones that are expensive and hard to get, give you 1,500 luck each. So if you have 7k from all your other stuff and add one set one full set so three tier one trophies you can get up to eight and a half k extra luck with the major trophies the tier three trophies you can get up to seven plus four and a half so eleven and a half k total luck um and that changes your drop chances exponentially when it gets to stuff like uh tovium and cinnabar where you're maxing out the loot table because each every luck you get is increasing your percent your percentage of rolls that are above it your luck gear essentially increases your minimum roll right kind of like how when you add better components to crafting gear in um at your crafting tables um it increases your minimum gear score this luck works the same in a similar fashion so initially before you have about eight one thousand eight hundred luck you cannot ever get tolvium and cinnabar ever 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 it is impossible but if you max out your luck at uh, about 11.5k, I think is the number I said, and I'm just now remembering that you can also get luck from leveling your skill, and I think at max level of your skill, you get plus 2,000 luck. I think it's plus 100 per level. I'm not sure of that. Um, but that would give you a, a max roll, a basic roll of 1,450. Sorry, sorry. That would give you a max roll of 13,500, or your, your base roll. Gosh, numbers. I know, I'm sorry, it's complicated, guys. I'm doing the best I can. Um, but yeah, so your basic roll is 13,500 with maxed out luck, and that gives you rolls possible from 13,500 to 113,500, which makes your chance of getting the void ore and stuff, um, it would be 113,000. So you'd have about 10,000 different rolls of those 100,000 that would be in because you have 13k minus 2k it gives you about 11. So you have about an 11% chance if you max out all of your luck. And until you do so, it's just not as good. Now there are different loot thresholds for lower tier materials, um, and there are different things. So like if you're looking for a certain schematic in a chest, there are some items I've looked at. Uh, I want to find the database, because I've looked at the, the chest schematics, because I do furnishing, right? Uh, star metal. Yeah, this is here. It is. So certain things will only drop if a zone is at least a certain level. So like the star metal brace storage chest will only drop from these elite supply chest supply stockpiles if they're level fifteen plus. I think all of the elites are at least that level, but it's just a common modifier that goes on all of them. Uh, for the oracalcum star chest, I think it's level thirty five plus. Uh, there's things like the stack deck and the loaded dice that have to be like level 40 and level 50 plus respectively for the zone you're clearing to get them to drop. And until that, it's it's impossible. Um, but yeah, that's how luck works. I'm sorry it's complicated. If if there's anything I wasn't clear about in the video, drop it in the comments and let me know and I will work with you to try and explain it. It's really weird. Um, I'm going to link this blog post as well so you guys can check it out yourself, see if it makes more sense there. But with all that said, um, if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you like, make sure you subscribe. I'm really hoping to grow the channel here with all this new world stuff. Um, and if you want to come check me out on Twitch, I stream Tuesday, Thursday, Sunday, 7 to 11 p.m. So check those places out. If I don't see you, then I'll see you next time. And until then, keep it beefy, boys. Good night. Hello there.